Hey everyone, this is Malik Ali here with Rebranding the World. It's been some time since I've made a post, but this is the appointed time. And I want you to take a look at this, this shoe. This is my shoe. You see, it's got some rough edges, got some dust on it. Why am I showing you my shoe? It's nothing special, but I'm trying to make a point. And the point is each and every one of us have a different, has a different walk, right? I don't know the path that you've been walking on, what your experiences are, what's caused you to think the way you think and act the way you act and make the decisions that you think are appropriate for your life, right? How you treat others. I don't know that. And we don't know that about each and every one of us unless we make that an intention. And that's what I want to talk about today because the times that we live in now, we need to be slow to speak, right? Slow to decide, slow to conclude. And oftentimes when we experience a situation, a circumstance, an individual, are we asking ourselves the question before we conclude upon the matter, what caused them to make this type of decision? What caused them to move in this way? How would I have done it? Why would I have done it differently? Instead of concluding on the matter and moving forth perhaps with offense right this is something i've been learning a lot from within my own church community in this season and this morning the lord had placed this upon my heart that it's about shoes you know do we walk in each other's shoes shouldn't we practice walking in each other's shoes to be compassionate to be empathetic right it doesn't take away accountability on what needs to shift and change and transform in an individual's life but it gives us the ability to remove the offense, right? To remove the hurt, to see in a new light and a new perspective that brings forth life. And it's in alignment with a scripture from the book of Philippians chapter one, verse nine, where it says through the apostle Paul, I pray that you abound more and more in love, that you may be able to discern what is best, right? And so for us to be able to discern what is best between each other and circumstances, right? And situations, be slow to conclude. Think about what the other person has walked through, what they've experienced. Hurt people hurt other people, right? And so for us to be able to remove ourselves from that pattern, from that cycle, right? We get to think outside of the box and put ourselves in their shoes and find unity, find common ground, find the ability to make peace. Blessed are the peacemakers, the Lord God says, and you get to be a vessel for making peace. Think about that. Bless you.